Free running has changed our lives in ways that we could have never imagined. After the Red Bull Art of Motion this year, we set out on a world tour. We screen our film, host jams, train with top athletes in our sport, and interact with communities all around the world. But sometimes, things just don't seem to go as planned. Whoa! What the fuck? I'm Corey DeMyers. And I'm Jesse LaFlair. And we're going Off, off the, the Edge. edge. We had to get up super early, and after saying goodbye to our friend Eve who put us up for the evening, we caught a train to Paris to try to buy tickets for the Eurostar. For tomorrow, for the whole day, it's sold out. Oh, fuck. We have the option of taking a night bus for eight hours tonight, or try to catch a ferry. Eight hours bus. Overnight. We decided to rush to Cali to see if we can get tickets for the ferry to Dover. After finally arriving in England, it was only one short train ride before we arrived at Kai Willis's, where we stayed until the jam. After getting a few hours of sleep at Kai's, we traveled into central London to the famous IMAX subway where everybody was meeting up for the OTE jam. About to walk up to IMAX 1. It's pretty crowded over there. London's real. Posh is here. Kai Willis. Yeah, no one's drinking coffee. We will see. thing to come to essentially the capital of free running and host a jam here and have so many amazing athletes turn up. Um, definitely very excited. I'm like kind of just tripping out watching everyone train and move and all the different styles. Uh, obviously there's some amazing parkour, very strong parkour skills here, but I'm very surprised about how much creative movement's being thrown down right now. So uh, I'm gonna go continue to play. Ass freeze to this boat that's moving around. So that's it. The London Jam is winding down. Um, we are leaving for Dublin tomorrow, but uh, I'm definitely pretty stoked about how this jam turned out. I had some sort of uh, kind of nerves, apprehensions of how this would actually be and, and how the London scene would respond to us coming and hosting a jam in, in pretty much the capital of free running. So uh, I will tell you that it turned out 
amazing. I'm thankful for everyone that joined us and all the stuff that went down. So we're heading to the screening. I'm gonna grab something to eat. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap up London. So we're here in the London screening room. Uh, it's a place called the Horse Hospital. It actually used to be a hospital for horses, but uh, it looks like they kind of turned it into a gallery and a screening room. So it's a pretty unique space. Definitely a cool vibe here, and I'm excited and sort of anxious and nervous about how this crowd's gonna take it because London is kind of some of our biggest critics when it comes to everything we do. So i um, kind of excited for them to see them film and find out what they thought. The doors are open, the line will form in the hallway. If anyone has any questions or anything, Bree will be there. Guys, what did we think about that? Will, you go first. I enjoyed it. Why? Why did you enjoy it? Yeah, why you why did you enjoy it? I thought it was pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. Um, hopefully, they make a Tempest Academy in London instead of... Yeah, so we don't have to pull so we don't. So, so far. I think it was really inspiring, and as someone that's always getting put down for what I love to do, it was really inspiring and motivating to see someone else just having doubts about themselves, but being able to overcome their fear and do it anyway. I really enjoyed it actually, I'm glad I came out. They're the only ones doing this kind of thing, like, so you can't fault that at all. Like, it's props to them for like putting this together and having us like, having people come out to London and just watch this video, even if it is just a video and a jam, like, it's doing stuff, it's making moves. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. They cut out some of the good stories though, but maybe not PG. The sad thing is like, you know, there are so many stories like this that we can all get involved in and we can all hear from other people in the community. I know Storo got some good ones. Everyone's just got so many stories, inspiring stories like this and it'd be cool to hear more of them. <coughs> Alright, I'll catch you later. <laughs> London's been amazing. The screening went extremely well. We had a very sort of tough and good discussion after the film, which is always kind of one of my favorite parts of this tour so far. So um, I'm super stoked and uh, tomorrow we have to be in Dublin to do this all over again in less than, I think, 15 hours or something. So we gotta go, bye.